Good afternoon, fifth grade parents. Today we're going to be talking about the U.S. algorithm for subtraction. Um, this is the way that you and I learn subtraction by borrowing. Um, but what we do to start teaching it is we actually break it apart into a, a few more steps and then hopefully at the end of that then they can start doing it without the stretching it out and breaking it into more steps. We start out with our problem 463 minus 279. What we do with this is we actually break it out and we stretch it into its place value places. So I would break it into 400 plus 60 plus 3 to represent 463. Then I subtract and I'm going to break apart 279 into 200 plus 70 plus 9. Now the reason we do this is just to show the students more meaning. A lot of students struggle with um, when they're borrowing, what number do they change them to just because they're not really certain of the actual process that they're doing. So if I look right here, I have three minus nine. This part can get confusing, but don't worry, we, we kind of talk about that with the students because there's addition signs here. But we go back over here to this side. Three minus nine, I can't have three take away nine. So I have to borrow from the tens column. We tell the students that you're going to borrow an entire 10 from the tens column, making this 50. Then I would add that 10 back over into this column, making this 13. The students can then take 13 minus 9, which gives me 4. Then they look at the tens column. 50 minus 70 won't work. They don't have enough. So they're going to have to borrow from the hundreds column. They borrow 100 from 400 and they have to add it onto their 50 here, 150. 150 minus 70 gives them 80. Then they're going to take 300 minus 200 gives them 100. 184. And that's their answer. And like I said before, this is kind of the stretched out version. What we're working towards is getting them to the point where they would automatically be able to go 13 this represents, this is a 6, but it's actually representing 60, so they would change it to 5, which actually represents 50. Then they would look 5 minus 7, can't do that, so I have to borrow some from over here, which actually makes this 150, and this 300, and then they get 184. So this is the long drawn out process, but we're working towards this, and that's the U.S. algorithm for subtraction.